platform. I know, Luke, you said there's a free with Meta Business Suite if you're sticking to Facebook and Instagram. But if you're trying to do LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever else you want to do, TikTok, Snapchat, any of them that you're trying to do, um, what's your what's a good program or where do you seek out to try to make that more efficient for yourself to post everywhere? Like a social media management Perfect. platform? Yes. Yeah. What do you got? Do you use one? I do. <laughs> I love Sendable. It's designed for agencies, I know, but you can post to uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Google My Business. You can post updates to your Google My Business page. Um, and they added uh, TikTok posting recently and they're adding Instagram stories so you can automatically post to your stories. So you can Excellent. schedule out pretty much everything on major platforms and YouTube. And it has RSS feed. So for people who don't know what that is, if you have a blog, it has an RSS feed that essentially tells the internet where to find it, like its own personal address. You can automatically have sendable pull posts from that feed every time a new one comes in, automatically schedule it as a social post and send it out. So if you just have times for blogs, it will automatically post it to wherever you want it to go. So cool. segueing into pre-purposing. So if I've got an hour a week that I can really devote to sort of <laughs> doing that marketing plan, right? I'm going to devote an hour a week and I just want to set it and forget it. So I could use one of those or I could choose to do the blog and then hook up all that stuff and it would just do it for me. Yeah. You're saying. You can automate a lot of it. Um, you probably really have a really efficient, efficient method for repurposing content. Um, I always, video is really easy to do mm -hmm. and everyone really likes short form video content. We consume a lot of it. Mm -hmm. um, so much so that YouTube has now said, we're going to do shorts because everyone likes TikTok. Mm -hmm. TikTok really changed the game. Um, and, and everyone's just trying to tread water to like <laughs> keep up with them. Um, but if you can take a video or We'll use this as an example, yeah. right? So here at Spar, uh, the way that we do content now and we have been moving forward is we record a video podcast of it. Nice. And then I get that and I have the audio from it. I have the video from it. I can post it all as one video, as a podcast video on YouTube and Spotify. Mm -hmm. And then I can distribute it as a podcast to all the other platforms. Then I get to take that down and I can do a few things. One, I break it down into micro learning videos that we can add to our library of resources. Go to our micro learning video. It's really awesome. Kristen worked really hard on it. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> and then I take that on further and I say, all right, what are some short 30 to 60 second clips that I can pull from this to now fill out our social media calendar? Like teasers. Kind of things. Teasers, but, yes. Okay. Um, but mostly the purpose of it is to provide short informational videos that are going to increase our engagement with our members digitally. Because that's okay. one of our goals here is yep. we want to engage our members digitally and provide them resources there. So that's another way that I can do it. So I can take the clip that I'm talking about right now, like me talking right now about this, and turn this into a short 30 second clip, even though I'd probably talk longer than that because I tend to do that, <laughs> and post that to. Um, reach our members and tell them what's going on. You can do the exact same thing. And if you are good at recording video yourself, like, you know, awesome. If you're not, go talk to Dan. Like, <laughs> he probably has a price structure set together where he can bulk record something for you and break it all down. And then you probably don't even have to worry about it. And then you can just schedule out what you want. So you take all those little video clips and you load them into Sendable. Yep. And you say, these are the dates I want them to go out yep. on all these different platforms. And then I use uh, chat GPT or some other AI to help me write something uh, for a caption that really grabs attention. Sure. I do adjust it because it's not perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it doesn't work great all the time. And, you know, I have to revise it and stuff like that. But then if you're not good at captions, if you're not good at creating things like that, use AI tools to do it. Like, you know, another one I really like is Canva for this repurposing. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Right? So you can load in your video or your photos, you know, if you've got a bunch of photos, um, and sort of create all of these different posts as well for all the different uh, platforms. And so minus the video editing time, 
it so if we record a 20 minute video audio so we've got it and without all of the editing because i know you do some crazy editing it's not crazy it's standard (laughs) it's not that complicated he's kind of okay technically it's the professional way to do it but (laughs) okay so a general rule of thumb some some basic editing like i'm recording myself on my phone yep 10 15 minutes i'm gonna talk about you know this neighborhood, this community, this house, whatever it is. Yep. Um, I'm going to record about 10 minute video and I want to do the editing on my phone. And then I want to do like you said, and you know, have clips and post them out there. What do you think all in all that's going to take me to do? Depends how good you are at like using the platform. (laughs) If you've never used the platform, it's going to take you a lot longer. Now, if like I did it and Dan probably has a time frame that he could do it on, like it would take me probably about 10 minutes to put that video into Canva and then adjust like where I want the framing to be add an intro and an outro and export it. And it'd be done in like 15 minutes. And that's just one to break that up in the clips. It'll be a little bit longer, but I mean, you can probably get what, let's say 10 different clips out of that. Mm -hmm. It's probably only going to take you 30 minutes Mm -hmm. if you know how to use the platform. Okay. So I could do a 10 minute video and then spend an hour working on my different clips, working on social posts, taking photos out of those clips, writing a blog out of the video, adding the video to the blog. I mean, all of it, right? So now I've got like a month's worth of content with an hour's worth of time. Yep. Right. Yeah. And we, we, so we primarily focus on just the houses. Uh, We do a lot of like short, you know, reels type video, right? Um, So another, another thing we should talk about um, all these social media companies can change anything they want at any time. So they, like, <laughs> yeah, they can. It's their can, platform. Like, you know, I, I, at the time of recording, yes. this is hopefully good information. Uh, but you, you also have to, you know, if this is three years down the road, somebody's watching this, the game might have changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Facebook is now meta, and we're all living with, uh, you know, headsets on in a virtual world. Yeah, yeah. And, they, and they, so they, long story short, they just, <laughs> Facebook just chopped their reels lengths to 60 seconds. Yeah. Still 90 on Instagram. Mm. Um, just totally throw my business for a loop. Meta. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Um, but anyway, so so we'll we'll deliver a Reels video usually, um, you know, within the time constraints of whatever service they want it for. Uh, but you can do that same kind of deal, right? Where you can take the full video, right? Mm-hmm. And like a lot of times, you know, we try to make them as engaging as possible. But if you can, and I don't know, um, I don't know if there's an insight that lets you know when people click off on um, every single, um, every single platform. Um, I know YouTube is really good for this for a long time, uh, but practically not everybody's going to watch the whole video, right? right? They might watch 15 seconds, mm-hmm. some might watch 30 seconds, some might watch the whole thing, mm-hmm. right? Uh, but what you can do is you can you can load this into a Reels editor, you know, on Instagram, Facebook, that kind of thing. And they've really become really user friendly. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of what they're going after, right? To get mm-hmm. people to use it. To use and, them, yep. But you can literally load this whole clip in and there's, you know, bounds on each side and you can drag them, you know, and, you, and you can take a 10 second clip from the middle of the video, yeah. post it as another Reel, right? Sure. So you can have one 90 second property tour and you can make eight videos from it, mm-hmm. right? Or maybe now it's under contract. Well, now you put, you can, you know, so, hit text. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Under contract. Um, and one thing, one thing we tell our agents to do, or yeah, we tell our agents to do is um, you can scrub the music and then add different music <laughs> to better hit your target market, right? Mm-hmm. So if you have a, if you have a younger following on Instagram, you can do like some more upbeat, mm-hmm. um, crazy music, and you can. It's really easy to just scrub the music, go into their library, and add new music, right? Mm-hmm. Um, whereas if it's say it's Facebook or it's an older market um, that your you know your video is going out to, you can have like maybe slower mm-hmm. or um, smooth. Yeah, not jazz. Technica. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, um, you know something that that group of people might yeah. you know respond better to. Yeah. Um, so I think there's a lot of value in the in the user friendly real editors as well yeah, um, that well, that's people good can advice. quickly take advantage of. And they have templates within Reels now, so you literally just upload the photos mm-hmm. you want, and it automatically puts them in those spots. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong. I think Canva also has similar functionality with the moving the um, endpoints to clip your video, adding the uh, adding some sound, adding. You know, animated little fun things over it and then export the whole thing. Yep. Right. Okay. So 
if you are just using Canva for everything, you can still do it all in there. You don't have to necessarily use a second program. No, okay. you don't have to. Okay. It's just if you want to do it all on your phone and you're just doing like Instagram and mm-hmm. Facebook, the real editor is super good. <laughs> yeah. Re- yeah. Direct <clears throat> posting. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, so one thing I'm going to comment with repurposing also is we've got uh, many of our members that, you know, work with um, work with communities where English is not their first language. And so my two cents, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about AI right now. And because Luke brought up chat GPT that he uses, you know, some AI to help write maybe some of those engaging headlines to even get you to look at the post. Um, Spar is working on uh, an AI and chat GPT class, but oh, cool. one of the things that I would encourage is uh, being familiar or at least learning some of this technology because you could potentially, when you're creating some digital marketing things, let's say it's in Canva and you've got some verbiage in there, you can copy, so you've got your English flyer, let's say, or your social post. You can copy that text, have it translated using AI into Spanish, into Hmong, into whatever language you're looking for. Um, Paste that back in there. You know, use AI to sort of translate it into another language, translate it back to English to make sure that it still makes sense, especially if that's not your language that you necessarily speak fluently. And then you have now multilingual lingual content to post out there to those communities that you're trying to serve. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I never, right? never thought of that. Yeah. AI is just making our lives so more efficient. It's a little, like, yeah, a like little plug months, for a few. <laughs> like, it's it's yeah. so much fun. And well, and that's the thing is it's been around. Right. Like, I know we were having this conversation of like jasper.ai has been around. I've been getting ads for them for like five years and I totally thought it was like a virus because <laughs> it reminded me of a virus that I used to see that would like try and get you to like click on something on yeah. MacBooks years ago. But like, I mean, I've learned a lot of stuff from you on chat GPT because I finally was able to get it and play with it. And yep. the amount of prompts that you've given me that are like so amazing that are making it more effective and efficient and then gets me going creatively of well, what if I try this or what if I try this or how would I try X, Y, and Z? It's like, it's yeah. so empowering to be like, like, and you even said to me once, it's like having two of yourself. Yep. It yeah. Right. Really it's you more efficient. Yeah. It's having it can, two of you. Yes. If you learn, you know, how to use it in that, in that, in that context, um, which is why we're creating a class about it. So does Canva, because I haven't yeah. done any of a, Canva's AI, does Canva allow you to translate yet? Or is that only something that you have to pull into like chat GPT? Um, I don't know that I've seen that a translator. Have I seen a translator in Canva? I don't know that I have. I would have to They should really look. add that. Um, I know they've add, they added about 12 or 14 different AI tools in a matter of like a week and a half after, <laughs> after <laughs> chat GPT like got real famous. <laughs> um, you know, so they've got things like, um, they have magic, write Or, you know, Canva's version of chat GPT. So it'll, you know, output text. If you give it a prompt, like, Hey, how do I do this? Or give me a suggestion for an engaging social you know, heading, uh, heading for this blog post or, you know, whatever you're looking for. It's got that. It's got, you can write text and then tell it you want a picture of a Tudor style home with a chimney and bushes in the front, you know, whatever, however you're going to describe this perfect house for this marketing flyer you're doing. And it will output four examples for you. Um, just generated, te- uh, generated uh, artwork that, doesn't belong to anybody because it's not a real place. That's so cool. <laughs> right? Wow. So, I love um, it so much. Yeah. So, I mean, like you know, just side note, a lot of this stuff exists, but, um, and it's got, it's got some of the same AI tools that, you know, we've been using for years with different like photography touch-ups and, yeah. um, you know, stuff like that. But their background um, remover tool is <laughs> stellar. I don't put anything into <laughs> Photoshop anymore. I go to Canva to do it yeah. because it does it faster. It's pretty good. Yeah. Take note, Adobe. Oh wait, you're probably going to just, just buy Canva like you do everybody. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So just 
in the world of repurposing, I mean, you know, think about the time you spend and then how much you can do in that if you really only have an hour to devote a week, how much you really can accomplish if you learn the tools to make your time more efficient, right? So, and then, you know, the schedulers, the, you know, automated, um, you know, apps, the, you know, assistance programs of editing and just all of those things. And you can really, for all those that think, well, I I haven't done social media or I don't want to do social media because it takes too much time because we all know you need to be consistent. Mm -hmm. Um, But if it takes too much time, you know, we've come light years, even in the last 10 years of what you can do with your time to sort of get that consistency on social, right? 